Fancy people, it's Krista with Botanical Bird coming from my new house. <laughs> In my last video, I showed you guys how I was kind of plantifying my patio here at the new house. And then this is the first one of me being on the inside. And sorry for the shadows, I'm filming this later in the day and I have an LED light on me, which is good because hopefully the light doesn't look yellow, but it's bad because there's shadow behind me. So please bear with me. And I am just so ready for fall. Happy fall, everyone. It's actually kind of cold here in Texas. Like I think today it's in the 60s, maybe, and then maybe the low is like in the 50s. I actually had to bring all of my plants that I had outside back inside like a week after I put them out there. So now I'm trying to be creative thinking of what I can do as far as light goes. But today I want to wish everyone a happy fall. I don't know if you're as excited as I am. I'm from Michigan and we do fall real hard there. <laughs> and so I'm like all decked out in fall things. I have my big shirt, got like red on. I'm just very excited. Long pants for the first time in a long time. So I hope you're enjoying fall as much as I do. Today, I want to unbox some plants that I got from Gabriella Plants. They are an online vendor. I think they're in Florida. They have greenhouses that I think if you live there, like you can do local pickup, but they're not like a nursery you can go and visit as far as I know. That might have changed, but especially with COVID, I don't think so. I ordered a few plants from them, and so I wanted to unbox them for you guys. Let us get started. I don't know if I've done a video unboxing their plants before. I know I've done a couple of unboxings. It might have been from them. Okay, so I love how they have things all packaged. Let me see if I can show you. So I got three plants. You can see they're like three burritos in there. They're wrapped very well. They have like, it's not bubble wrap, but it's like a foamy thick wrap that they're all wrapped in and then they have like three little cards one of them is an unboxing guide and like how if there's an issue what you can do they also have really good customer service and they're a kind of small operation like I think it's family owned but they are pumping out the plants as far as quantity goes so kudos to them um here it says that who selected and treated my plant. So thanks, Wesley, appreciate you. And then Gabby packed it. Thank you, Gabby. <laughs> so just like a fun little card that they have. And then they have my invoice that has the plants. So, oh, I did get a Calathea Macroyana. It's funny, if you like order plants frequently, you forget, I feel at least, I forget what I'm getting. And so seeing it like, oh great, I ordered that. I've been looking for one of those. Very exciting. So I got two philodendrons and a calathea. Calathea macroiana is like one of my absolute favorite calathea and I killed one recently. I think it needed more humidity. So I wanted to get a replacement. So like I said, the foam paper or foam stuff on the outside with tape. So I'm just gonna cut the tape. Hopefully without cutting my leg. <laughs> and then under that, There is very thin mesh to kind of keep all the soil in with a rubber band around the bottom. So that really keeps the soil in. Take this off. And then it looks like under the mesh on top of the soil is cotton, which is like a really popular way to box plants now to keep the soil in place, which I just think is brilliant. Zero spillage, friends. So this is, I think this is the philodendron deja vu. To me, a lot of the baby philodendrons look similar if they have, I don't know what you call that, like the shaping on the sides of the leaves. Uh, Cause I also got a philodendron hope or a philodendron salome. I think they're the same thing or the hope is maybe a cross between the salome and something else. But I'm pretty sure this one's the deja vu. It's so cute and little. And I'm gonna take off the cotton in the box. So something I have found, and maybe it's just for packing purposes, is that the soil and plants I get from Gabriella is usually pretty packed down. So I'll take like a knitting needle and kind of stab around gently to try to oxygenate the soil so that the roots don't suffocate. So that's something I've noticed. It's the plant itself is moist. I don't know if they like misted it ahead of time, but it doesn't look like it's too wet where it's sad. So I'll probably like let that dry out. I'm not gonna water it for a while. I have a feeling the soil looks pretty damp. So I'm very happy with that little dude. 
Let's see. I also got these plants. They were, I signed up to their email and I try not to do that with a lot of things, but I feel like for plants it's different. And I got a notification or an email that was saying they had like a flash fall sale. And so I was like, okay, cool. I'll see what they have. And they sell out of things so quickly because they do have a lot of plants, but there's so many people who know about them and are interested that things sell out within seconds on their, they have a plant drop. Ooh, they have a plant drop on Wednesday evenings and things sell out so quickly. And so I was surprised the amount of things that they had still available during the like fall sale. So this, yeah, I think this one is the hope. You can see the shaping of the sides of the leaves is a little bit more significant. The leaves are a little bit wider than the deja vu. Dun, 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 dun. But I really like it. Like, I think that's one of the things I'm starting to appreciate about plants. Like not only the variegation, but like the shape of the leaves too. And I'm getting more into the upright stems, whereas before I really liked trailing plants and I still do, but there's just only so many plants, so many trailing plants you can have. Like I started trying to stake them up a bit. I'm like really impressed with these plants. They look beautiful so far. Let's see. And something that they don't seem to do at Gabriella, but that I know, where's my box cutter? That I've seen done by other places like Plantarina is they'll stick a bamboo stake in the pot. And I never understood why. I was like, it's not protecting anything, but it's so that when it's in the box, the plant takes up vertically the entire space so the leaves won't get crushed, if that makes sense. And they don't do it for uh, Gabriella, but like, I don't, I think that this is tall enough where it's fine and it's pretty stiff, so I don't see it being a problem. But just like other things I've noticed. So this must be the Calathea. Let's see. So Calathea are like my, one of my absolute favorite genuses of plants. And I used to have a bunch, I have several now, but with my new job, um, I just can't be as there for my plants as I used to. And so um, I haven't been, I haven't gravitated as much toward Calathea because they're kind of, they're known for being really like super diva-esque. Like they really like to stay moist and they need a lot of humidity, but I'm really happy to have this one back. Just look at those patterns, <laughs> the variegation. I don't know if that's technically variegation or if that's just like the pattern on the leaf, but let me bring it closer to you. So you can obviously see the dark green ovals, but then between them, like on the light green, it looks like little cells, like almost like on the mosaica, the like tiny little squares. I don't know if it can zoom that well. Can you see those? And then of course you get the red undersides of the leaves, which are just, it's like a hallmark for Calathea. So I just, well done Gabriella plants. Thank you guys as always, you never disappoint. So I'm gonna, like I said, probably stab around gently around the soil to aerate it and allow oxygen to get down there and then let these kind of dry out for a while. Like I'm probably not gonna mess with them for at least a week. The Calathea might want water in a week, but I think probably the others aren't gonna want it for a little while just because the soil is pretty darn moist. But I think other than that, they're gonna be great. So you've done it again, Gabriella Plants. <laughs> so if you have any questions about these plants for the care or anything, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about what it was like to order plants from Gabriella. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Botanical Bird. Bird has a U in it, not an I. And follow my planty Instagram, which is at botanical underscore bird. And remember, I'm rooting for you. Bye.